to Fox World. I am staying safe at home, and I don't know about you, but I've been getting really into cooking. I love going to the farmer's market, I love going to the grocery store, keeping my distance from people, and picking out amazing fruits and vegetables, and then putting them together and cooking delicious recipes. So today, we will be cooking ratatouille. You've seen the Disney movie, and you know probably what it is. Ratatouille was originally from Nice in 1778. What it means is a moat me stew. The French people would gather up a bunch of summer vegetables. They would make this delicious dish that we're still eating in 2020. So I'm gonna make that for you today, and you can do this at home. What you need is some zucchini, some peppers, some cherry tomatoes, an eggplant, some white onions, garlic, of course you need some garlic, some Pam, some olive oil, some ponies because I'm from Louisiana. So we use that a lot in Louisiana. That's my own special touch. Italian seasoning, fresh red pepper, and yes, you guessed it right, more garlic. This recipe is super, super easy to make. Anybody can do it. So I encourage you to try this at home and do it along with me. For the first part, all you need is your eggplant, some of the Pam, whichever kind you decide to use, the Tony's, and the garlic. You can put the other stuff away. All right. All right, and cut up the eggplant. You want your cuts of the eggplant to be kind of smallish so they can be cooked pretty quickly. And now, time to cook it and book it. all this eggplant and look at really this is kind of the ideal size that you want your eggplant to be so you can just flip it around and it cooks really easily we're gonna cook this a few times and since we have our handy dandy cutting board out we're gonna cut these pre-cut vegetables the zucchini and the peppers but I like to be small so that the ratatouille is just you know it's almost like a sauce. You could really eat it like a marinara sauce. So I like to make all the little peppers pretty small. But you can make them big. You can, whatever size you want it, you can make it. Now it's time to cut up that zucchini. All right, it's already a little bit cut, but like I said, I like it to be more cut. Traditional ratatouille, this is really how they cut it in a circle and you know, they place it together and kind of making a line, but I like it smaller, so personal preference. All right. He said, Mama, lie down in old Moulin Rouge, strutting his stuff on the streets. He said, hey, Joe, you wanna give it a go? Voulons vous coucher avec moi, c'est soin, c'est soin. Voulons vous coucher avec moi. You wanna give it a go? Voulou vous coucher avec moi. Ce soir, ce soir. Voulou vous coucher avec moi. She sat in the back. Oh, while she freshened up. Drink all that magnolia wine. That's lucky for you. Okay, I am done with cutting up. This kind of dropped. The zucchini. So we can start cooking the eggplant. Bonjour, mademoiselle, ma chérie. So now we have the beautiful eggplant and we're going to put the stove on high. And we will put some oil in it. So anyways, just put like a little bit of oil so it's not too fatty. 
This is a summer recipe, so you really want it to be just like light and refreshing. Flip it around, flip it. Flip it real good. We got the oil in here. Flipping it around. You want to cook it, the eggplant, probably for about 8 to 10 minutes. You want the eggplant to darken. I mean, you would kind of know what it looks like when it darkens. I'll show you. And we're also going to put some of the Louisiana favorite Tony's. If you're from Louisiana, you definitely know this seasoning because it's great. And once the eggplant is kind of cooked a little bit, we're, we're going to add the zucchini. First comes first, and second comes second. I'm just going to show you a piece of, um, this is a piece of pretty well cooked eggplant. You can see how it's kind of dark. This is the color that you want it to be. So there you go. Now we're going to add the zucchini. We have all the zucchini. Oh, go in there, zucchini. And now we're gonna cook that. Oh wow, maybe like five, ten minutes longer, depending. You know, you want the zucchini to look cooked. So that's what we're aiming for. I did turn down my heat because, I mean, you might want more eggplant, but I sure don't. So. And I have this great olive oil. Instead of adding uh, some regular droopy oil, droopy like pouring oil, this you can just put a little bit of olive oil just by spraying. So I'm just gonna spray this because we need some more because the eggplant soaked all the other olive oil up. And now we're gonna finish cooking the zucchini. The zucchini is tender but not completely cooked because we are going to cook this again and the eggplant is pretty sufficiently cooked so this is great we're going to transfer it into a plate which we're going to put aside for later look at all this deliciousness yumzers smells so good i love eggplant delicious. Some eggplants meet their grave often. Right! Now we are going to cook the peppers and the onions and pulverize some cherry tomatoes. Okay, so I got my peppers, I got my onions. I'm going to put some more Pam. We love Pam. She's our girl. A little bit of Pam, Pam, Pam peppers, put the onions. I highly recommend getting already cut peppers and onions. It just, it helps so much. I was crying every time I was making this recipe. I mean, it was good, but it wasn't crying good. It was just like, whoa, these onions, they're making me sob and I just could not figure out a way. Put the onions in the freezer because apparently that's a trick. I kept dotting my eyes. I put goggles on. I tried everything and the onions were just making me cry. So, word of advice, get pre-cut onions. It'll just help you so much. Anyway, so now we turn on the stove again. So now we have this going. We're actually going to use, we're gonna use this fun little less olive oil. Spray it down. Say it, don't spray it. What? Oh, it smells so good, you guys. This could be fantastic. And just let this saute a bit. Now, while this is sauteing, I'm just gonna turn down the heat to low heat where it's still warm uh, and still cooking, but I could just kind of put it aside while I do other things. So this is my favorite part of the Ratatouille experience. Taking these tomatoes and 
squishing them. So take about five tomatoes in your hand. You pulverize them. Ah, just get all your anger out on the tomatoes. You just squeeze them, squeeze them. Okay. Then you take some more tomatoes. Take that, COVID. Oh, yes. Take that. Yes. Oh, yeah. That's right. I'm going to mess you up. Ooh. Yeah. Be careful. It's going to squirt in your eye. Woo! Or in your hair. This is a messy process. So, I'm almost done squeezing. Doing more now. Oh, yes. Take that 2020. It's really great for a 2020 year because um, you just take out all the bad things that have happened this year and just take it out on the tomato. Boom, boom, boom. The tomatoes are getting all messed up. You'll, there is a reason for this. I promise you'll see later. Yes! Yes! Ah! I used to box. Now I pulverize tomatoes, you know? We all adjust to this year. goggles for this. I don't know. With the onions and the tomatoes. Not that the goggles really work. But the tomatoes, I feel they would. All right. So all of these are pulverized. You can tell there was kind of like a juice. We're going to add this later. So, but before we add it, we're putting some salt and we're going to put it, mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna let the tomatoes soak up the salt. <laughs> Put it aside. Now we're gonna go check back on our onions and peppers. How are you doing, onions and peppers? Okay, we can turn this up. So I'm seeing the onions are cooking quite well. I'm going to turn this up now that the tomato is done with. We want the peppers to be soft, really. And we want the onions also to be almost translucent. Not to that point, though. Italian seasoning. I prefer to use one that doesn't have salt because we've already added a lot of salt. So, some of this in here. Now we're going to saute. And of course, some garlic. Everything needs more garlic. That is my life motto. More garlic, more fun. Okay, so these are starting to cook. 
we're not quite there yet, but we're on our way to a delicious destination called Ratatouille. The onions are getting translucent, and remember we said we don't want them exactly translucent, but we want them on that translucent path. So remember those poor baby pulverized tomatoes. Well, we're gonna use them now. They've been soaking in the Tonys, and they're so, all the juices, this is gonna make everything taste so good. I really love using cherry tomatoes. I'm sure other people use different things like regular tomatoes, uh, but I really love the, the cherry tomatoes. It's delish. And plus you get to pulverize them, which is so much fun. You know, if you're making this with kids, I'm sure kids would love that. And I've turned down the heat just a touch because we still have a few more things to add before we devour. Okay, so we're gonna leave this cooking with the pot on so we can maintain the juices. We're gonna just turn it down a touch lower. I'm gonna do this for one to two minutes, and then we're gonna add that yummy eggplant and zucchini mixture, and more seasonings, and voila, we're gonna have the best ratatouille ever. So, stay tuned. Woo! Now we're gonna check it out and see Oh, this, it smells delicious. We're gonna see how this ratatouille is doing. I highly recommend having a pot holder or some kind of towel because sometimes these metal handles are really warm. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I wish you guys could come over and eat this delicious, fabulous cooking. Mm, 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 mm. Such a great summer dish. Now I'm going to add, remember that eggplant and zucchini? We're gonna add that. Oh, it's so fun to dump. I love when it works out and I'm not able, and I'm not spilling it everywhere. I'm like, yes, who's the boss? I am. Whoop. So now I'm gonna mix it all together. Oh my gosh, it looks so great. So I'm gonna add some, uh, I'm gonna rinse this off because I don't wanna use many spoons. Bam, 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 bam. And I like to have my garlic. I would use fresh garlic if I had it because I really like that biting garlic taste. So I like to put in the garlic like almost last so you get to have kind of that biting garlic taste, which is really healthy. It boosts your immune system. So, you know, which means protecting against COVID guys. So that's, what's that? All right, so we're mixing this together. We got the tomatoes in here. We got the onions. We got the peppers. We got the eggplants. Yeah, so many things. Oh man, it smells awesome. I'm, I'm literally salivating right now. Let me taste a little bamp. Mm, 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 mm. So delicious. We're gonna cook this a little while longer. I'm gonna add a little bit more of the Italian seasoning. And some black pepper. Black pepper, where are you? He just needs a little bit of a kick. I can't really kick in this dress, but normally I can. Check out my TikTok. Okie dokie. So I'm just gonna turn this on low because Everything is cooked, really. We're just blending all the flavors together. So this is great for vegans. 
or for just a regular person that is not a vegan. This is a vegetarian, actually this is a vegan dish, but it doesn't have to be. We are done with this. I'm going to put some of it, and I'm gonna show you, this is actually, this next part, it's not part of the traditional ratatouille recipe. I just came up with it a few weeks ago. So this is not vegan, guys. So if you don't wanna, if you wanna stay vegan, then stay vegan. Uh, I like to put a little bit of Parmesan cheese, and to me, it just makes it perfect. A little bit of Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna turn the stove off because this is cooked. Now look at this. Voila, beautiful, look at this. Look at all those colors, so good. Let's try this. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is amazing, it's really good. So, I hope you enjoyed this, this recipe, this time with Bops in the Kitchen on Bops World. Stay tuned and subscribe and comment and like and share with your friends and let me know what you'd like to see me do more of and stay safe and stay healthy. Au revoir.